Hey guys, look folk here and welcome to another FIFA 21 player moments SBC and this one has got me very, very excited. Kazawa from PSG has been given a player moments SBC celebrating his aerobatic goal uh, or acrobatic goal versus Toulouse in the league on 17-18 season. I have quite a few league on players in my team, the foot freeze, Marquinhos, record breaker, Mbappe, Neymar. So this card would you know, fit perfectly into the team uh, on, on full chemistry. So as long as his requirements are good I might have to do him I mean he is there for the next six days so uh, team of the year will be coming this Friday uh, I don't know if the whole team will get released on Friday uh, I'm not exactly too sure but I don't know whether I do this SBC now or I wait till the weekend and then do him because he's there for the next week I I'm not too sure I just put Sinkraven into the team who have been working for like, the past few days I I'll explain in a second what my kind of predicament is but first of all let's have a look at what uh, this SBC requires then we'll have a look at his in-game stats guessing only an 82 but it scored very high chemistry and a PSG player and a team that we need it, but that is good. And an okay pack in return. This is better for me. Now, what's this one going to require? Oh, 85. Relative, that, that's pretty high chemistry as well for an 85 rated squad. To be fair, and okay, but the, you know, the packs back in return are both tradable and decent, to be fair. And you might arguably be getting the best. I mean, Mendy's pretty good, as needs to be fair. You know, will this card be better than the Mendy from Real Madrid? We'll have to wait and see. So an 85 rated squad and 85s are going to go up big time because I know that the base slash mid icon SBC pack has just come back today as well. That no doubt will also have 85 rated to be required for that. So it, it's going to come in at, so a team of the week, very high chemistry on both sides segments it, it, it's going to be coming in at around about 150 160 thousand coins isn't it i think around about that they've also given us some more of the uh, position upgrade packs as well i have a look at his in-game stats though now for kazawa i want to see if this card is going to be better than that sink Raven card that i just got for my team so four star skill was very nice for a fullback medium low work rate six foot is nice three star weak foot as well doesn't matter too much for a fullback his in-game stats his pace is very good his shooting for a fullback is actually insane as well as passing isn't the best. Isn't the best. Um, 81 short passing, 81 vision, 82 crossing. I mean, whilst it's not the worst, you know, the kind of, for what you'd have to put into this SBC, uh, it, it, you know, his passing isn't world class. I, I would want his, his vision, crossing, short passing, curve to be better. Long passing as well. I mean, his long passing isn't too bad, to be fair, for a fullback. His dribbling is absolutely superb. His defensive stats for a fullback are solid. And his strength needs to be a bit better. Uh, nothing going on too much there in terms of player traits. It's a good card. And he, and he's very linkable into teams, isn't he? Um, I'm sure a lot of people have like a Neymar in their team. You know, there's a nice strong link there with Neymar. You know, there was the 85 um, Benat. Is that his name? Benat or something like that? Yeah, there was an 85 Benat that we could get for free from Seasons Progress a few months ago. So I want to compare that card and also the Synchrov. And so as you can see, my team here, if I pull Kazawa in, Kazawa gets full chemistry. Van Dijk will go back to 8 chem, which I'm fine with. Currently in this team, I'm using uh, Synchrov and 8 chemistry. And I've just only got him. And I had to work a lot to be able to get him. So I'm in a real predicament as to what to do here. Um, so we go and get to, from left back. I want to go to PSG. And I want to compare him to that three card in Benat. You could definitely get from one of the Seasons Progress. Progress uh, milestones a few months ago. So if we just go to uh, League on left backs here. So I'll pop both those cards. And there's also the Amavi card as well. This Amavi card, I want to compare him. Because he has the potential to get upgrades through Marseille getting the four wins. And also through him potentially getting himself some more informs. And he only cost, from what I remember, he was only around about 30,000 coins. And has the potential to get upgrades. So first of all, I want to compare the sing just for my own self. And then we'll compare the other League on left backs. Um, so Synchroven's got more pace, a lot less shooting, but it doesn't matter. Much better passing, much better dribbling. I think it would be... I'd argue he's better. Both four-star, three-star. Much better passing. Shooting doesn't really matter too much, to be honest, does it? I mean, but dribbling on both of them is very good. It's probably actually it is better on Synchroven, isn't it? Um... Both of them don't actually have the best physicality, but I'd argue Sinkraven's better, and he is free. Um, but in terms of the League 1 players, that was just for my own self. So based on that, with Team of the Year just coming around, I think it would be a silly move when I'm trying to buy, I'm planning to buy a Team of the Year Lewandowski for my team. I think it would be a silly move for me to go and do this Kazaba SBC because I've just got this guy who I had to work all weekend for to be able to unlock. I've only played a few games with him so far. 
I, I want to keep him in the team. Although we've got like a nice little PSG setup here, I think it kind of makes sense for me not to do the SBC. Now, let's compare him with Amavi. This is what the headline is Amavi card who can get upgrades. Amavi lacks in pace big time, which does matter. Uh, he lacks in pace quite a bit. Shooting doesn't matter too much. Same passing, slightly less than dribbling, better defending and better physicality. What's he got for work rates and stuff? He's got five star weak foot. Not like it matters for a fullback. Three star skill moves. Uh, of course, Kazawa is better than the area with having uh, four star skill moves. In terms of player choice, he has absolutely zero. Has much better physicalities all around. Um. But, I mean, to be fair, like, the dribbling on the Marvy is still fine for a fullback. He is let down the big time in pace, isn't he? Like, massively let down in pace. And then, uh, Benat, compared to Gazawa, same dribbling. Benat, again, has the problem with the pace. Shooting is miles off, but I've said before, it's not the biggest problem. Has more passing, which does matter more for a fullback. Much less physicality and much less defending, because that was better than this card. And this card was free, and, and for a free card, he was decent. Four star skill moves, uh, again, just like that Kazawa card. But Kazawa's better, isn't he? Even though the Banat card is free, um, he, he just... He's not bad. He's not bad, but he, he's not up to the meta, is he, like, of, of this stage of the game. This Kazawa card's good, but there's, there are a lot of other options. I mean, you know, for example, let's get that Mendy card. If you're just talking about, like, French left-backs in general, you know, there's uh, there's quite a few there. And, of course, Mendy, who a lot of people like to go for on Weekend League, how does a Mendy compare to a Kazawa, for example? Uh, you know, you've got Hernandez's um, cards there as well. Uh, where is that Mendy card? There we have it. Um, so, Mendy, more pace, less dribbling, less defending, much more physicality. Slightly less pace and, and less in shooting. Um, four star skill moves and has a five star weak foot. Uh, and whilst he does lack in defensive stats, defending, as long as you have decent defensive stats, defending isn't the most important on a fullback, actually. The mo uh, you know, as long as they've got respectable defensive stats, that's fine. You want to look at pace, and he's superb in pace. He's better than Kazawa in, in terms of pace. He's got better physicalities, which is more important as well. Uh, having good physicality is important on a fullback. And um, passing stats are kind of similar, to be honest, all around. Aren't they? There's not too much between them. But listen, this Kazawa card he, he, he's good. Is he fantastic value for money? With Team of the Ages coming around the corner, I, I personally wouldn't do this SBC until we've seen what we've got for Team of the Year and then make your judgment for Team of the Year what you want to do. Um, I think it's a kind of cool SBC, but there's so many other French left-back options. There's so many other decent options from, from League One in general. So I do like the SBC. I think it is maybe a slightly too expensive, the very, very high chemistry requirements. And the fact that he's there for a week, maybe, obviously, if you see one Team of the Year comes out and you're not maybe happy with the Team of the Year players available, then yeah, by all means, go and do the SBC. But I would argue that an 83-rated Mendy from Real Madrid in terms like a letter in terms of like a fullback who's French is arguably still just as good a player or you know or just or probably more better value for money to be able to buy so on the whole I like the SPC but I do think it's slightly too expensive but let me guys know what you think in the comment section thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys later